I cannot believe that on the internet there are no many videos of normal parties. Why internet? Why? So I decided that we need to recover this lack of videos and I made my own one. This is Julia Ebbur and welcome back to my channel. Tell me your life story in three words. Not fashion photographer. What then? Photographer. Fashion and selfies. Transient. So that people want more and more clothes photographed. I mean, I started by trying, trying to take people. And uh, I really enjoy taking people more. And that's really why my fashion photographs do look a little different. Because the girls in them are people. So today is the first episode of kind of a series focused on photographers. I decided to start with the last book that I bought for like a personal gift to myself. And the book is Ta-da! Normal Parkinson, Always in Fashion. So I decided to buy this book because it was very discounted on Amazon. It was always in my wish list since one year. I really love it. As you can see, it's quite a huge book full of pictures. So I'm going to show you my favorite picture inside this book and why I love Norma Parkinson so much. Let's go. But there would have been no Black Trinity if it weren't for Norman Parkinson, the daddy of British fashion photography. The name is Parkinson. The other photographers call me the governor. My life's work is a constant search for beautiful women. So what makes uh, Norma Parkinson so innovative into the photographic scene, especially in uh, the UK, is that he started to shoot in women and models outside the studio. Like all the other photographers around the world uh, um, did the same thing, but in Britain it was the first one. So we can imagine like a Cecil Beaton still uh, built his own uh, environment uh, in his studio, creating this kind of images uh, like bucolic and dreamy. But for normal Parkinson, the girls are living outside, they are living in their own world, they are part of the world. So it's also like a kind of an emancipation of the, of the women. As you can see in this picture, I love particularly because it seems like a candid shot of a, of a girl in the street with his newspaper, with her, sorry, with her newspaper. And but in the end, this picture was published for Harper Bazaar. So it's perfect because it's very natural, candid, but it's like not because probably was built it, so everything looks natural, but it is not. And in the same time also we can see a picture like this one where we can see three models in, in the same setting doing different kind of stuff. And again, it's very modern because everyone is doing something different. Nobody is looking into the camera and this is like something totally new for the time. Moving forward, this picture is one of my favorite. I like everything. I like the, the composition, I like the dress, I like the light and also this kind of shot from the top of from, from the top of these places. I don't know, it looks like a boat or something like that. It's very nice. Also the composition, and as you can see the lines are going from this direction and then in the other direction and then we have a third character again where we cannot see her face, it's just like a body, but in the same time this body is giving us the movement of the entire scene, like all the lines gives us the movement in, like in this, in this way, like a wave actually. Uh, yeah, this one is like, is the cover of the of the book and I is the, one of the first picture in color was shot on the roof of the Condenast building in Lexington Avenue and I love it like I can see a story so I can see these three women gossiping and the fourth one like on the side like mm, let me let me listen what's happening and I love like the color how it looks like like everything in the background is like blue or grayish but in these the characters are in the front of us with this like very bright color is like the composition is so so perfect here 
This picture in particular is one of the first pictures of Wenda Parkinson, the wife of Normal Parkinson. And this one, I love it for this reason. It's like seems a still of a movie. Everything in this picture tells a story. We are in a station and this woman is alone, thinking probably, and the train is coming on the background. But the, our eyes are led into the main focus, that is uh, Wenda in this case. And here you can see a motorbike that is out of focus. But as you can see, this image is so like three-dimensional. We can see like, we can put like a line to connect all these elements. And it's so perfect. The composition again is very well studied. And what I love, even if it is like, quite simple, we, it's not like something crazy, it's not like super fashion, but in the same time, the feelings and the attitude of Wenda is amazing here, and it tells immediately a story. So like fashion photography should tell always a story and not only showing um, a garment. This picture, we are like in 1940, so during the war, and it's quite iconic for me because we can see like this three children on the background and a gun on the floor and this woman with her perfect suit looking down a little bit sad and again like uh, it's like an image of the time even like it was it was necessary to shoot for uh, for our for Vogue sorry um, but in the same time there is a reflection of what was going on during that time so even if it, like the composition again is very is perfect there is like a kind of sadness loneliness in this picture coming back to my favorite part where something is out of focus again in this picture uh, we are like um, was shot in 1947 and i love it because okay the, this character is completely out of focus but the, uh, our eyes again are led into the main subject that is this woman and her dresses and coat and again nobody's looking into the camera and it's like amazing even if we don't have a proper eyes connection with her or with the guy is something that it doesn't matter because we are still present in the scene it seems that we are like on the side of the scene looking what's going on what's happening during this uh, football match Parkinson made his name with work like this for Vogue breaking convention and shooting his models outside the studio Let's put the camera on Bang. While I'm working with Marisa, we're surrounded by the BBC. But it won't really matter if they're my shot or not. Bring somebody up that you really like. Twelve. Well, she's great down there. Do I have a film camera? And one again, and again. That's it. Stay, stay, stay. Stay. That's it. Good. OK, we're done. Ah, yes, I also, I also added this picture of Carmen de Lorefice because it was published for Vogue. And I can see, like, I love the lights, I love this color, like everything is desaturated and we are kind of mint blue and purple magenta. And it reminds me, like, the work, like, the later work of Miles Edridge. But Miles Edridge is, like, more, like, um, psychedelic, we can say. But here is, like, it's more like, again, a still of a movie, like, what's happening? Why she has a mask over here? Why this character out of focus? again is looking at us and why she's so sad like again the composition we are like kind of spying is like a kind of Hopper Edward Hopper point of view we are part of the composition part of the action but we are not actually because we are like on on the on the on the side let's say even if we can see we, we can in this picture we can image the entire story we can create our own story okay so i added also this picture this is a picture from um, 1957 and uh, well this is super modern for me i can see like uh, like a future any Leibovitch creating something for this for Vanity Fair and it's one of the first composition with a lot of girls all together outside again 
and it, for the first time we have some character that are looking directly to us like her 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 not really <laughs> but it's, it's always more complicated to manage more than one or two models on the set and, but in this case he did very well and it's quite of quite of also funny why these girls are wearing these beautiful dresses and they are like kind of um pier or something like that and this guy what he's doing so it's funny but in the same time super fashion we are living the dream like the, the london dream you can see also the skyline on the background and then we have this picture, a color picture, and it was published for Vogue in 1950s. So we are like in um, a studio or a house. I love this picture. It's a little bit far from the poetic of normal Parkinson, we can say, because we are in a studio, in an environment. It reminds me a little bit like C Cecil Beaton for like the dreamy, uh, feelings that he gave to me. In this case again the model is not looking at us but the composition you can see is like a perfect line towards the, the picture itself. Ah, yeah. Well this one is one of my favorite I think because the color catch my eye so strongly. I love it, I love everything like it seems like a steal from a Billy Wilder movie or something like that and I love it everything is we are three lines here the device and also this one of the two window she's looking at us but a little bit on the side not directly and seems like oh honey come on what are you doing I love it I love it. also the details here that no, it's not like creepy or weird just to see her hand and the color like match perfectly everything the makeup the, the detail of the hat and this little scarf this picture is like amazing now we are in at the end of the 50s and there are the first like um, picture shot uh, like on location and we are in um, india now in jaipur and again fashion photography during the 60s uh, had like these big changes to shoot uh, on location and normal parkinson was one of the first we can also think about henry clark for america and other one and we can see fashion in a different environment so again the composition and the line of our story is coming towards this direction and this series is quite interesting as you can see i love everything here like and as you, it seems like the, the, the base of, for the modern fashion photography that we are used to see on magazine and in museums. Like, love it, this one seems like <laughs> funny, but at the same time, the story is here. Even these little elements that seems like why is here, makes sense. And probably you know Norman Parkinson, or at least you saw at one picture of, of him, especially for his uh, work with Audrey Hepburn, a uh, 20 years old Audrey Hepburn, very a very young lady. And yeah, this one was especially a cover for many fashion books. And also again, this is like more like constructed let's say built picture more like studio picture but this one is very very candid like seems like more a, a family portrait of this girl and the little lovely donkey moving forward we are into the 60s and Oh, Norma Parkinson always worked with artists, uh, fashion designer and actor and actress of the West End and here we can see a portrait of Mary Quant and I can see immediately the influence of the 60s, the psychedelic vibes of everything that is also reflected in the picture so she's here but she's always there and like the images of the double so it's quite interesting also this picture like a new frontier for him i i would like to say twig yeah we've seen really we've seen lots and lots of very good photographs of you we've never seen you move would you dance for us all right <laughs> so dance
So welcome to the 70s and in the 70s uh, we have a um, famous series of pictures shot uh, in Russia and I love it, I love everything of this series, the model and well I love the, the um, Russian iconography of the past and I love how the girl is acting here and was like super imagine for the time like was not super easy we are like in 19 um, 1976 so it was not nothing like like oh i'm going to russia to shot something that is like could be weird with a, like a communist flag and oh, this series is amazing i love everything it's so modern And the last picture that I want to show you is this one. We are in 1975s. And this is so romantic to me. It reminds me of the pre Raphaelites work. This one or this one too, actually. And the movement again, which is she's look like more like a pixie or a fairy in this beautiful garden. And also here she's sleeping like more dreaming, but everything is also romantic and nostalgic, the, the type of fabrics, the carpet, the, the, the flowers over here makes everything, the composition perfect. And every time our eyes seems like they're following a curve line also here and here. So yeah, these are my favorite pictures. There are so many in this book. So I actually really recommend you to have this book if you like normal Parkinson. I really hope you like this video, consider to subscribe or put a like and also just to let you know I opened my first class on Sketch and in this class I'm going to teach you how to create your own Instagram story graphics so it's going to be covered uh, three types of templates so from a, a, one very easy to a more complex one you can find the link below and see you next time bye